guys welcome back to my youtube channel i'm doing a dance for you guys thank you so much for all the support so far i'm amazed what over 300 subscribers and you guys keep sharing my videos thank you so much okay and if you are yet to subscribe just hit the button it's just there like down below help me grow thank you and also don't forget to turn on the post notification bell just beside the subscribe button so you get notifications every time i post a video okay in the title of this video we're going to be talking about the culture shock i've experienced in the north here all right so i recently moved to the north for about three months now and i realized some things that are very different to me i've been staying in lagos practically almost all my life and i recently just moved to the north i haven't stayed in any other place for long as much as i've stayed in lagos so i am your typical girl that was born and brought up in lagos so coming to the north i've seen some things that are quite strange to me and i'll be telling you guys all right let's go so the first thing i'm going to be talking about is how people use bikes as their private means of transportation there's a particular bike that they use for a um, commercial which is the bajaj it's the type of bike that they use for commercial and it's another type that if you have that bike and you buy it brand new as in it's a brand new bike you're a big man in this place i'm like how do you guys because when i first when i when i first got here anything bike if i want to enter a bike i flag them down i flag down any bike before i was being told that that is not for commercial and then you see some of them on Fridays or days that they are going for any form of celebration. They wear their um, native looking well iron that starts with the cap on it. And then you see them on these bikes like, that's a big man. That's a big man. Girl. When you see them, you see that that's a big man. Anyway, where I'm from, you're a big man when you buy a car. <laughs> There's nothing big about a bike in Lagos. So it was just very different for me. So I had to study, okay, what kind of bikes do they use for commercial here? And what kind of bikes are for private um, owners? I like how they are very confident on this bike. <laughs> they can carry their wives on it and zoom off. Like, you can't intimidate them with this. And then it's very different from the Bajaj bike, which is for commercial which is this particular one this one is for commercial next i'm talking about is the difference between a bike and a tricycle i've talked about transportation and how it's pretty cheap here in the north but oh, for those of you that don't know i am in gombe state nigeria yes and it's a northern state so i was saying that the difference between the bike and the tricycle Generally, they are cheaper. The both of them, transportation, any transportation is cheaper here. But I realized that bikes are cheaper than a tricycle. You can enter a bike of 15 naira. I've entered a bike of 40 naira. I think I've entered a bike of 30 naira before. I'm not so sure. I can't remember. But a tricycle <laughs> is more expensive than entering a bike. Which is the opposite in Lagos. In Lagos, if you are entering a tricycle, it's cheaper than entering a bike to the same distance. Do you understand? So if I'm going to a place and I enter 17 naira, that same that same distance in a tricycle, they're going to charge me probably 150. That's the difference. Meanwhile, here in meanwhile in Lagos, it's not the same. If you enter a tricycle, are going to pay lesser and if you're the only here if you're the only one in the tricycle the man will carry you in lagos if you're the only one in tricycle and you're in haste you will pay for all the seats just be ready <laughs> they will not carry you for just your own fee you will pay for all the seats so the next thing i'm going to talk about is their definition of mini skirts now i'm done with transportation let's talk about dressing okay so I'm a pretty decent lady and I don't wear many skirts. I was in the market one day 
and I went to the carpenter space and he was uh, addressing one of his workers like why was she wearing a mini skirt and I was looking at the skirt where is the mini like we, how why, how is this skirt a mini skirt and this skirt was way way below the knee like it was way below the knee so i was wondering where is the mini skirt but i didn't say anything and then the second time it happened i was coming back from work and i was about to climb the tricycle and the man was talking about why would i wear a mini skirt <laughs> mini skirt I don't, I don't, I don't have a skirt that is above my knee. And I was looking at the skirt. He was like, no, it's because I'm wearing mini skirt. That's why I'm, I'm being wayward or something like that. I'm like, what is the meaning of all this talk today? So to them, I realized that a mini skirt is anything that doesn't touch your ankle. If it's not touching your ankle, it's mini skirt. And that skirt I was wearing that day was a skirt that was three quarter. Yes, one of my three quarter skirts. Like me, you know what we call the midi skirt. That's what I was wearing. This man said his mini skirts. So I've understood them now, and I realized that if it's not touching your ankle, it's a mini skirt to them. In Lagos, a mini skirt. <laughs> ah, it's gonna be mini. Like it's going to be mini mini. They will see the definition of mini. Their eyes are gonna pop. <laughs> a mini skirt in Lagos is something that is around your tie, like way above your knee. That's what we call mini skirts. So I was very surprised. And to them, you are indecent if you don't wear a skirt that is touching your ankle and you don't cover your hair. If you leave your hair open like this, they're like, why are you showing part of your body that should be covered? I think it's, so, it's a Muslim slash Islamic thing. Sometimes I cover my head to work, sometimes I don't. Just depends on my mood. I've always loved head wraps, so sometimes I tie my hair, but sometimes I don't because I'm not used to that. One of my friends was telling you about how they called a meeting in their place of work and how they were telling her precisely that she should try to imitate them in their way of dressing, like and not wear short things and things that expose her body. I'm like how they even stopped someone from coming to see her because they said her skirt was too short and i'm pretty sure pretty pretty sure that skirt was not short but that's a definition of it so so the next thing i'll talk about is language barrier this thing has annoyed me sometimes but i'm going to let it slide so a random house or an average house man believes that you must learn how to speak Hausa. You have to speak Hausa wherever you go to. Like in the market, you when they see me in the hospital, in the on the road, probably you want to enter any means of transportation and you're trying to speak English, they're like ba English, ba ranch. Ba ranch means ba English. Like no English, sorry. <laughs> means no English. So they expect you to continue the conversation in Hausa. Sometimes I'm annoyed and I tell them, me no, Bausa, me I don't understand Bausa. Everybody does not understand themselves because I believe that as Nigerians, English is what binds us together. If for some reasons they have to relocate to somewhere like Lagos or you have to relocate to somewhere like Ocean States, I know that there will be a language that will be predominant in a certain area, but at least a small amount of English. To help you thrive in any way in Nigeria. Even if it's not English, at least pidgin. You know, I think pidgin is easier if you can't speak correct English like that. But then they, it's just it's Hausa. It's simply Hausa. I was in the market one day, I just buy something, and the man said, So I wanted to ask about something in the shop. I can't really remember. And I was asking in English. The next thing I was like, ah. Ba usa ba market like no usa no market like it won't sell to me. <laughs> I'm like whose loss is it? Like it's not gonna pay me. This is the market. I can go to anywhere to find what I want to find, and I'll find people that speak English, find people that speak Yoruba. I've seen them in the markets, so you are doing yourself eventually. <laughs> but I just left him. I'm like that one cannot pay me. He was thinking of going to pay me, so I was asking out about that's not that's not how it works. I try to learn the language to be able to communicate, especially to patients in the hospital 
I'm also in the market, but I don't like it when they try to impose it and make it seem like it's a must. I don't like it. Another thing I want to talk about is how they eat sometimes. I've seen this thing in the market. I've seen them do this a lot where they want to eat and maybe like four or five people and they decide to pour the food. The food is in a cooler. No, but they decide to pour it into a tray. Maybe to give room for everybody so you can see what they are eating a bit, no problem. So when they don't want to eat, now instead of using their spoon or a fork, they use their hands and I'm like, why? What happened to the spoon? And this is not about whether you are poor or rich. It is, I think it's a culture thing where they just decide that this is what they want to use and that is what they're used to. Where I'm from, we only use our hands to eat when we're eating swallow like a bar or pounded yam or something. So I'm amazed. And sometimes I don't even like using my hand to eat it. When I'm taking swallow, sometimes I use a fork to take swallow. So I'm amazed when they're eating things like rice, they're eating things like spaghetti, and they're using your hands. Like, why? It doesn't make sense to me, but I realize that they do that a lot. The next thing I want to talk about is how they think that a, a 19 year old girl or a 20 year old girl should have children. I will leave a link to my market the video where I was really pissed about it one day. But that aside, it's normal here when you see a 19 year old girl, 20 year old girl. In fact, I still saw one today, 18 year old girl. Her father was very excited when he heard that she was pregnant. It's different for me and it's funny to me because in Lagos you will hear it. <laughs> you are going to hear it. Now I'm talking about the larger percentage of people in Lagos. I'm not saying everybody is the same, but most people at that age will not want you to get pregnant and have a child. They believe it's the best time for you to further your education, which I quite agree with. So it's different for me when I see people at the age of 22 and they have four children and they still want more i'm like why why it doesn't help help me understand but i really don't understand so that's it uh in this video that's it for this video if you are staying in the north and you've seen things that you are not quite conversant with please share them with me in the comment section i love to read about it and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and also share this video with your friends and to anybody that will for some reason have to come to the north it could be gombe or kano or kaduna i think they have the same culture in all these northern states all right so so like come your way in the next video bye bye bye